What's up, trading friends? Welcome back to yet another video. I'm Sam from Top Trade Team, guys. And in today's video, we're discussing Tupperware, ticker symbol TUP. I'm going to be telling you guys exactly where I see the stock going next week. I'm also going to be giving you guys a massive date that is upcoming for Tupperware that could make or break this stock. And I'm going to be telling you guys exactly what the short interest on this stock is as well. So, with that being said, let's get working, okay? We're going to, we're going to start by a little bit of technical analysis. And then from there, we're going to jump right into the good short interest data and then where I see the stock heading from here on as well. So we'll go three, two, one, and three, two, one, and action. Beautiful. So here we have the Tupperware chart, guys. Now I have the Tupperware chart on the daily, the five minutes, and also the one minute alongside the level two. Okay, let me just move my head over here where you guys see me better. Okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, right, first of all, what I want to talk about is going to be top of words daily chart, right? On the daily chart, this stock is actually looking relatively good. It's holding good levels of support, right? One of them being, uh, let me just go ahead and draw some lines over here, right? One of them being, mm, what is happening here? Okay. All right, there we go. One of them being, let me delete this actually this line i'm trying to get us a straight line and uh, draw horizontal line there we go right so it's doing a very good job actually holding these levels as you guys can see right the tip of this level over here right it's doing a good job the tip of this candle it's doing a good job holding that four dollars and 73 four dollars and 75 range right let's say four dollars and 70 right which is also the top set of these candles over here right top set of these candles top set of these candles top set of these candles and if you guys are not familiar already broken support becomes resistance broken resistance becomes support so if this was a level that it previously rejected once it breaks above this level this is going to be the level that it's going to bounce back up as it has shown right now right now next week we're going to be seeing a make or break moment from Tupperware guys, okay? It's going to be a make or break deal. Why is that? Because right now it's sitting at a crucial, and I mean crucial level of support. If this support falls anywhere, let me um, cross her on, right? If this support falls anywhere below $4.50, if this stock breaks $4.50, my friends, this stock is going all the way, likely back down to $3.50. So, with that being said, pay close attention to the four dollars and fifty because that is going to be the main level that if the stock is able to rebuild from, it's going to be that level. Okay. Now, does that mean that it has to come down to four fifty? No. If tomorrow it gives us a massive green candle and it breaks about five dollars off of a single candle, bam, to the skies we go. Right? Because this is the daily chart, guys. We know that the top of the stock is in six dollars because when we go down over here to the one minute chart or even the five minute chart. Right, the five minute chart, we can see that it peaked at a price of seven dollars and twenty five cents. Okay, so now let's talk about the five dollar chart, the five minute chart. Okay, because the five minute chart, right, the stock has strong, strong resistance over here at five dollars and eighteen cents. So I do see the stock testing five dollars and eighteen cents tomorrow. If it managed to break five dollars, five dollars and eighteen cents, I could easily see the stock come back up and test these levels again at five dollars and seventy five cents. And if it breaks five dollars and seventy five cents, guys this stock is going to fly all the way upwards of $7. So for me, the most conservative play over here would be this break of $5.75. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line for us over here, guys. Um, Go draw horizontal line, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put it right, right on top of here, okay? Right over here. So as you guys can see, right, this is an important level because previously it was resistance, right? Previously it was resistance, and then over here as well, on even on this candle over here, guys, these candles kind of go on there under that six dollar level. Okay, as you can see, this level is at five dollars and eighty three cents or eighty six cents. But I'm still telling you guys that don't buy until it breaks above six dollars. Why? Because the stock can easily double top and it can give us a fake breakout. Okay, so that's what you guys got to be looking out for when it comes to the stock. Now, from a support level, I already told you guys that four dollar level is going to be the most important level. That four dollars and fifty cent level is going to be the most important level. If you guys see the stock fall below this level over here, okay, at four forty seven, four fifty, okay, same shit really. If it breaks four thirty seven, four forty five, if you see it sub four forty get out get out my friend okay because let me tell you something this stock also it's running it's running its course okay time is up time is running out and this is a stock that is going it's it needs time okay these stocks my friends 
this is also a concept that we teach you guys in the Top Trade Academy, which is the concept of a timed stop loss, okay? Now, a lot of other amateur traders who haven't been trading for a long time don't understand the concept of a timed stop loss. And I'm pretty sure that we are one of the first communities to actually adopt this type of strategy and apply it into our trading, which is understanding that there is also a timed stop loss on every single play. What the hell do you mean a timed stop loss? Sam, what is a timed stop loss? That means that these plays, these short squeeze plays, these momentum plays, they do not have the longevity of a regular stock. That means that they're here today, gone tomorrow. In a couple of weeks, no one's going to care about Tupperware. No one's going to care about TUP. TUP is going to go back down to $3. I'm telling you this right now. It is literally, I've seen this happen over and over and over again. And guess what? Soon in our own trading community, we are going to be shorting Tupperware, okay? Not right now. We're not shorting Tupperware right now. And I will tell you if I was shorting Tupperware. But let me tell you something and let me make something clear. I'm not bearish on Tupperware long term because I'm opening a short position on, on Tupperware. No. I'm opening a position on Tupperware for a short position long term because I am bearish on Tupperware. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I'm not saying this to convince you. So my short position as well. No, I'm opening a short position because that's how much I believe that this stock is going to end in shambles and go back down to the $3 levels eventually, eventually. Okay, whether that's next week, whether that's in two weeks from now, whether that's three weeks from now. I know people hate hearing this shit, but I'm telling you this so you don't lose money. Okay, you don't understand how many people we interview for the Top Trader Academy and they join and they're down like, tens of thousands of dollars. And you know what they tell me? They say, oh, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This has only happened a couple of times, okay? It'd be, it'd be unfair for me to say, they always tell me this. No, no. But a couple of people, so for those that don't know what Top Trade Academy is, first of all, that's our Discord, okay? The Discord gives you access to my, you know, trade alerts, it gives you access to my, you know, the option alerts, it gives you access to our lessons and everything like that. Let me just show you guys right now, because right now we are also actually having a sale right now. Look, this was literally on top of where, right? TUP, my boy bought it. He says, Sam originally had puts watch your video last time. Um, and watch the bounce of 313 support. Knew how to buy the rocket. Thank you, my dude. Bam, just like that, right? 82% off of that, right? We go up 17% over here for Hair Shine R, $930 for Asuna, 9K over here, right? And the list just goes on and on, okay? Now, this was one of those messages that really stuck with me. Shout out something. I said, Thank you so much, Sam. I'm on track to having my first profitable year trading. Thanks to you and the team. And you guys, right now, like I was saying, we are also having a sale on the Discord right now, guys, for a 50% discount for the next 10 people that join, okay? So the next 10 people that join get access to the Discord for a 50% discount. It's also first month money back guarantee, so you do get your money back, whether you, you know, even if you don't like it, you get your money back at the end of the month. So if you don't, you know, that, it's that simple, okay? It's that simple. Now, why did I do that? That's because I've joined communities myself that I don't like now. With that being said, even if the discounted version, guys, isn't available and the spots are gone, I still highly suggest you guys do check out the Discord because, you know, we have over 100 members and majority of people are actually paying full price, okay? So, you know, they're finding value, this is my point. People are finding value in the Discord. So check it out, guys. The link is in the comments in the description. Now, moving back to um, Tupperware and what I was saying regarding Tupperware was that, um, yeah, so so my short, so my alert's going to be in there, okay? My alert's going to be in there. Check it out. Now, let's get talking about the short interest of Tupperware and the state that I was talking about that's upcoming, okay? So, when it comes from a short squeeze stance point, Tupperware can squeeze because Tupperware's short interest actually is relatively low right now, believe it or not, right? When we go to, um, if I can go to, uh, what am I looking for? Ortex. I've never, or I've never opened Ortex here before. This is, this is weird right now. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not gonna log in right now to Ortex. So let's just look at Fintel information. My bad, guys. I'm on my other. Um, ever since I got re I got, I got able to. Uh, what was the ticket that we're talking about? Tup, tup. Mm -mm. Where? Ever since I got reinstated in, what is this French? Make, make it English, bro. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so it shows that it has a short interest of float of twenty five percent approximately. Okay. Now, this 25% again doesn't account for naked shorts, doesn't account for synthetic shares or anything like that. But it shows that it's sitting at 25%. Still, still sitting at 25%. Now, this 25% is really more closer to 50% or 100% even, because like I said, right, it doesn't account for a lot of things that go into account when it comes to measuring uh, short interest that 
Fintel, or even Ortex accounts for. Okay, so that's one thing for you guys to know. Now, with that being said, though, I could see the stock short squeeze if, if the news that I said comes out good. What is the news? The news is going to be their earnings. The company is having earnings. Tupperware is going to have earnings soon. Okay, they announced it in August. It was supposed to be back in April. They pushed it all the way upwards of August. August is going to be the month that Tupperware either makes it or breaks it. It is that simple, my friends. Okay, so with that being said, I want you guys to keep that in mind and understand that once again, this stock is a ticking time bomb. Be ready to sell. Okay, be ready to sell. And like I said, watch those levels that I previously mentioned. Now, if you guys want to talk to me one on one, guess where to find me? You know where to find me, right? The Discord. Okay, because the Discord also gives you one on one access to me where I chat with the members around the clock, right? When we go over here, we have the alerts chat, right? Which I am extremely active in myself, right? Look, these are. These are all me, right? Talking about Trade Zero and everything like that, right? These are all me. And the list just goes on, okay? We have we have a lot of active members that are always sharing their data, always sharing their knowledge. And um, yeah, you know, it, so that's it, right? But I was saying regarding the Discord, what I was talking about regarding the Discord and I was saying was that it's it's crazy how many people join the Discord because when you join the Discord, right? I, I talk to you, right? We we um we set up a meeting and I basically go over, okay, are you a good fit for the community or not? Because once again, I don't want to waste your money or your time, right? And so many people join with this idea that they're going to make millions of dollars within like like a couple of days. Like it just makes no sense. You know, it just makes no sense. And I don't literally mean millions of dollars in a couple of days. But I've had people in my community be down, you know, 60, 70K and they're like, okay, so I have a plan of making it all back in a month. And it's like, dude, how do you not see that? seeking quick money and i'm not understanding that trading is a skill and it you need to practice it and it takes time seeking quick money is what got you in this situation and now you're doubling down on seeking quick i, I just don't get it okay i just don't get it but regardless of that okay check out the discord if you're looking for real trading results where you know and also real trading practice okay because the discord is where we combine the learning phase of training and the earning phase together okay where you can learn from the lessons and you can also earn using our trade alerts. Thank you for watching, guys. Happy instant trading. With that being said, I wish Tupperware the best of luck next week, right? Right now, like I said, once again, I repeat, for those people that are like a little slow, they can't take in a lot of information. And once they hear, you know, me talk about the Discord, they just like zone out. Basically, next week, if this stock falls below $4 and open, okay, $4.50, $4.50, $4.40, if you see it below 440, get out. It's it's pretty much done. Okay, it's pretty much done, right? Now this doesn't mean that it can't make a comeback later. No, but it's pretty much done for now. Okay, that's gonna be extremely bad. If you see the stock above six dollars, buy it. That's when I would be buying. Okay, I'll be buying from six dollars for the test of 725 again for the test of seven dollars again. Because if it breaks six dollars, it's a hundred percent likely to get to seven dollars. And at least test that 725. So with that being said, my friends, I hope you guys found value in today's video. As always, none of this is financial advice, okay? Do as what you want with this with this information. You know, I don't know anything, okay? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an legal attorney. I'm not nothing. I'm just going on YouTube. We've been trading for a very long time. And he's here trying to share his knowledge with you guys. Thank you for watching. I have some trading. As always, hit the thumbs up button. You always sound